Installing an aftermarket adjustable front track bar on your Jeep JL Wrangler or JT Gladiator is a great way to help recenter your axle after installing a two to three inch lift. And while there are a whole bunch out there you can choose from, I would recommend something like this. This is the all new Synergy Jeep JL Wrangler and JT Gladiator adjustable front track bar. And as you can see, it's made out of a one and a half quarter wall DOM and they come with their all new dual durometer bushings. Now what's cool about these bushings is that they are 100% maintenance free, as in they require no greasing to keep them quiet, and unlike factory bonded rubber bushings, they offer bind free rotation. Here, let me show you. This is a factory track bar, and as you can see it utilizes a bonded rubber bushing, which means that the rubber inside of this bushing is physically bonded to the metal components. When properly installed, the crush sleeve on the bushing will essentially be clamped in place and look a lot like what you see right here. The problem is, is that it'll be in a state of bind the moment the axle tries to articulate. And this is because the rubber in the bushing itself is trying to twist around the crush sleeve. And for the most part, that's fine. It's actually great for an OE application because it'll be quiet, it won't require any greasing, and it'll last actually a long time. Where the problem comes into play, is when you have a big lift with a lot of flex. And what happens is, is that that rotation starts to force that bushing around. It'll start to twist it around and it can work itself free. Or at least it can actually cause the bolts to start to work itself free. And that can lead to things like death wobble. I do need to note that the frame side mount does use a spherical joint, as you can see right here. But the problem with that is, is that it's got plastic components inside and they can wear out pretty quickly. We've seen it on our Jeep, we've seen it on other Jeeps as well. And once that's worn out, you can get death wobble as well. In addition to being 100% maintenance free, what makes the new Synergy dual durometer bushing so cool is that they're designed to have an impressive 30 degrees of misalignment. They're recentering and they come with two different durometers. Uh, an outer one that's actually softer, allows for cushioning and flex, and it has a harder inner one that acts as a bearing race. Of course, Synergy actually has a video on all this, and they do a great job cutting away and showing you what, how it works, and I'm including a link in our description so that you can see what that's all about. With that said, you can see that once this thing is installed, it requires no force whatsoever, there's no bind. This whole thing will rotate freely. Of course, just like all Synergy steering and suspension components, this comes with its double adjuster sleeve, which allows you to make fine tune adjustments with this still installed on your Jeep. You don't have to remove it to make any adjustments. And of course, because it comes with a pinch bolt to hold everything in place, there's no jam nut that you have to fight with, which can almost be impossible to keep tight. Fortunately, installing this track bar is super easy to do and just requires a few simple tools to do it. To get this started, you're gonna need yourself a 21 millimeter socket and a 21 millimeter wrench, but because we have a Synergy steering stabilizer relocation bracket installed, I'm gonna to have to remove that first. That's not gonna to apply to most of you, but that's something I need to do before we can proceed. All right, with that removed, we can go ahead and remove the bolt securing a track bar to the axle mount using a 21 millimeter socket. All right, so as you can see here, 
We had an adjustable track bar already installed and it had been adjusted out to accommodate the amount of lift that we have on our Jeep. So to save me some time, I'm gonna go ahead and take a measurement of this track bar eye to eye and then try to make some initial settings on the Synergy track bar just so that I can make fewer adjustments once it's installed. So it looks like we've got 33 and three quarters. And I've got about 33 and 15 sixteenths. All right, so using a crescent wrench, I'm gonna go ahead and make an adjustment to the adu double adjuster sleeve just to sink it in a bit. Take another measurement. There, that's 33 and three quarters. Let's go ahead and get this thing installed now. The curved side that you see right here, this is gonna to be to help clear the differential. So this will need to go on the driver's side of the Jeep. This joint will have to go up on the frame side of the mount. So what we'll need to do is take the axle side and slip it in to the mount as you see here. Okay, so with the track bar slipped into the axle mount, we can go ahead now and put it up into the frame mount. Looks like it's just about there. Take our nut, put it back on. These are the factory bolt and nut. And then using a 21 millimeter wrench on the back side, you can go ahead and tighten it up. Take a torque wrench to that later. As you can see here, the track bar bushing hole is not lining up with the mount hole on the axle. This is totally normal and this is where our friend comes in handy. So you can have a friend sit inside your Jeep and turn the steering wheel just a bit until those holes line up and then you can slip a bolt right in. Okay, go ahead, keep turning. A little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, wait, I think that might be it. Back off just, oh, there you go, perfect. Okay, take the flag nut. Again, we have a Synergy steering stabilizer relocation kit installed. If you don't have one of those installed on your Jeep, you're just gonna be using the factory bolt and flag nut. All right, so now that we have the track bar installed, we're gonna go ahead and tighten up the bolts to 125 foot-pounds of torque. We're gonna do the same thing on the frame side. Now before we tighten up the pinch bolt to secure the adjuster in place, we're gonna go ahead and take a couple measurements just to make sure the axle hasn't shifted one way or the other. Being that we just installed a new track bar, that's a very high likelihood, so let's double check that now. About four and five eighths. All right, so not too bad, it looks like four and nine sixteenths, so we're literally a sixteenth of an inch off. Not enough to really matter. The whole vehicle is gonna change it the second I sit in it anyway. So I'm gonna call it good. I think we did pretty good in getting it set. With our axle position verified, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up that pinch bolt. We're gonna need a three quarter inch socket and wrench to do that. And then you're gonna to wanna to tighten up this nut to 90 foot-pounds of torque. Okay, last but not least, we can go ahead and reinstall our steering stabilizer. All right. 
there you have it. Our brand new Synergy track bar is installed on our Jeep JL Wrangler. Of course, this will work on a JT Gladiator as well. And with all the changes that we made, there's a very high likelihood that our steering wheel may not be centered anymore. And if you find that's the case on your Jeep, from here, any adjustments that you make to bring it back to center should be done at the drag link. Other than that, you should be good to go.